Hi, so today is Saturday and I'm just about to go out to my sister's wedding so that's very exciting. Um, it's just a party tonight, um, they actually got married in America so um, I'm here to show you my outfit and today I've just been um, running, I actually did a half marathon this morning um, I'm taking part in um, an event called the Tour of Tameside, which is four races on four days, consecutive days. I'm pretty new to running and I've never taken part in an event like this before. And this is my first year, my first summer season with my running club. Anyway, I'll move on now to what I'm wearing. Um, so I've shown you the hat before. Um, if you've watched my other vlogs but yeah I got this hat from John Lewis Um, I think it might be a John Lewis own but I'm not 100% sure and I've cut the label off now so um, I'll put it down below if it's a particular brand or whether it's a John Lewis own make I showed you I had a blue bag to go with it. I actually decided to go with this white bag and it's just like a little satchel bag. It's called the mini sugar cube bag by Zatchels and I'm really happy with how it looks. The only thing is I'm a little bit disappointed with the quality because um, I'll bring it close to camera and you can see that actually there's just a tiny little bit of glue there and I actually removed some of the glue so I didn't feel like the quality of the bag was 100% but I decided to keep it anyway um, and it did take quite a few weeks to come although they did send me an email to apologise for the delay and ask me whether I still wanted the bag um, which I said yes. Um, so yeah I'm happy with this little bag and I'm happy with how it goes with the outfit. This is the sagebrush top by Friday Pattern Company and it's made in this lovely Rachel Parker um, material which is called Austin Circle Line I think and um, it's by Dashwood Studios and I absolutely love this fabric I love the colours in it it's absolutely beautiful and I made a bit of a bigger sleeve um no I didn't extend I didn't make the sleeve any bigger I just made it longer I'm not going to go into all the details of the patterns um I'm just going to talk through my outfit I I got purple purpley pink nails today um and I just did these myself um just now actually so yeah, they look pretty okay. Um, I'm not into like false nails. Um, my nails can be quite short, but yeah. And I decided to put on this ring here, um, this one here, and this one here. Oh, and I'm wearing these little earrings. I've just done some makeup. So um, a little bit of eyeliner um, eyeshadow, mascara and I put on some face makeup and a little bit of lipstick and hopefully I will get some pictures um, full length outfit so I've decided to put on this cream wide belt just to kind of create some separation and some definition at my waist so this is from Accessorize this belt um, and um, I've got my Winslow collars that I extended so they came just above my shoes which I quite like that look and then I've got the white sh my white shoes with brown wooden platforms so I actually was a little bit concerned about having the cream belt with the white accessories but actually if you look closely at the top there there's a cream and it's next to the white so I, I, and I, I actually like how the bag kind of ties in with the shoes 
and then the belt looks just a little bit different. I don't actually mind that. And I have also got a jacket to wear. Now, one of my viewers did say you need to be careful about big sleeves and a jacket. And I do agree with that actually because when I've put the jacket on, it does actually create creases in my arm. Actually, you can see <laughs> my arms are a little bit creased. But I don't mind. I'm just going to perhaps put it over my shoulders. It's quite a warm day, so I probably don't need to wear um, a jacket. But I'll take it anyway and see. So, yeah, that's my outfit for tonight. Today is Tuesday, the 21st of June, and... I've had a very busy weekend and it's telling now because I've actually um, had a sore throat today, not been feeling so good, but I have been working and today's my last day at work and then I'm on annual leave and we're going to be travelling to Scotland tomorrow and then the day after we're going to get the ferry to Ireland. The wedding went really, really well. So I'll insert a picture now. This is my family and um, it's my three sisters and my brother, my sister's husband and my mum and dad. So that's the family photo that we got. And I also got a clip of me doing some dancing. So um, you could see my outfit as it moved when I was dancing. So um, yes, I'm thoroughly embarrassing myself now. And then the following day I did the final race of my Tour of Tame side, which I really enjoyed and um, I was really proud to complete the four races. And then we had my husband's family coming um, for a barbecue and I decided to wear a dress. I was really happy with the dress. I've not got a photo or anything, I was just too busy trying to organise the barbecue. Um, but that went well and then... Um, Monday, yesterday, we would, I was just working and today I've been working but tonight we're going out for a meal. So we're taking um, my brother-in-law and his wife and her daughter um, out for um, dinner and we're going, just going to go for maybe for a little walk around the park first. It's absolutely beautiful sunshine here um, but we are eating inside and it is a little bit windy so um, I just made sure that I've got enough clothes on just to keep myself warm because I tend to be cold quite a lot so I'll just turn you around to show you what I'm wearing I'm wearing a ready to wear top from Marks and Spencers and it's got a boat neck and it's just plain white underneath and this is the indigo tunic that I've made in a viscose chalice I've learned how to say it properly. I was saying Shelley, but I know that that's not the correct pronunciation anymore. So I'll try and pronounce it correctly in the future. And I did the little frill on the, you can't really see it very well, but on the um, waistline. And I'm wearing my new little bag with it. And then I'm wearing it over a pair of skinny jeans, black stonewashed skinny jeans and just a pair of sandals these are from M&S these sandals and that's what I'm wearing tonight to go out and I've put on some rings I've put on like some stacked rings on that finger and then a purple ring to match the purple in the top hopefully I'll be able to share my outfit tomorrow I'm just going to be traveling so I'll just take it um so I'll probably just wear something really comfortable um, and I've got to pack tomorrow um, so I'm going to be deciding what I'm going to be packing so okay I'll see you then bye today is Thursday the 23rd of June and we've arrived in Ireland and um, we're staying in a place called Hillsborough which is not too far from Belfast and we're staying in this really quaint little house um, and I'll give you a tour in a minute just to kind of so you can see some of the things it's really really quaint and quirky and yeah we're staying on the main street in um, through Hillsborough I'm pleased to report that the ferry crossing actually 
was not too bad at all. I took my tablets and they worked. I didn't feel too seasick. We paid a little bit of extra to get some recliner chairs and that worked really well. Um, I just rested and I didn't actually go to sleep but the travel sickness tablets did make me feel a little bit sleepy and I was just closing my eyes and listening to some music and then when we got here we were quite hungry we arrived here about 2 30 p.m and we'd not had anything since breakfast so then we went to the pub across the road and had um, a meal which was lovely and I was just wearing my chillax hoodie I just wanted to feel comfortable while I was traveling and I was wearing some jeans and my converse now we've just been out for some drinks so I did get changed and I'm wearing a ready to wear shirt and I've got it on with my peppermint wide leg pants and this belt from I think it's from All Saints um, and I and I did actually manage to get a picture um, of me um, in my outfit I'm still wearing my converse and I'll put the picture up now so you can see the outfit so yeah we just went for some drinks and we've just come back to where we're staying so I'm all ready for bed tomorrow the plan is to go um, along the coast and so that's going to be hopefully a nice little trip and then tomorrow evening it's going to be me and my husband and we're just going to go out for something to eat and that'll be nice and then the following day is the wedding so a few exciting plans um my life normally isn't this exciting normally <laughs> me and my husband like just really really quiet and like stay at home and we're not that sociable so this is really pushing us out of our comfort zone all this um, being social and traveling and things so yeah um we are enjoying it though just a little bit tiring i'm certainly ready for bed now so yeah it's half past oh it's actually it's 10 to 11 so perfect time just gonna sign out but before I do I will give you a quick whiz round just to show you the place we're staying because I think it might be a little bit interesting to have a look at a um, very unusual place okay let me show you so here's the bed and yeah, it's got like this old fashioned, and it just excuse all my luggage, just put there on the floor. Um, really old fashioned, and we're actually staying on the main street, um, through Hillsborough, so you can see outside there. Um, yeah, there's a few pubs and shops and restaurants on that street. So, there's my hat for the wedding. You just saw a glimpse of. So all of the flooring, it's like wooden flooring and um, rugs and then I'll just show you into this little bedroom my husband's using this but yeah you can see it's they're like bare walls as well um, really quite quaint and old-fashioned and then like this wooden panelling um, on this side and on this side it's just like the bare walls so we come down the stairs I hope I'm not making you travel sick doing this <laughs> into the kitchen so like an old-fashioned type kitchen area and an arga and my husband made me laugh he was like they've left the cooker on <laughs> but I, I explained to him that an arga is always on so he didn't know anything about Argus before um, and here we go and look at this little sweet little room and look at these light switches aren't they brilliant so they're the old-fashioned ones which you push up and push down great so and there's me so um, yeah, I'll 
update you again tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye. Good morning. Today is Friday the 24th of June and um, we're going to be going for a little trip along the coast and I thought before I did um, I would just share with you what I'm wearing today. So it's a mix of ready to wear and me made. So on the top I'm wearing this t-shirt <clears throat> and it says uh, beast on it um, and it's got the um, rose on it because this is a t-shirt that I got when I went to see Beauty and the Beast and so this is the Beast t-shirt I bought and I'm wearing it with this necklace that's um, from a local artist um, to here I got it last time we came here um, in I got it in Lisbon and it's made by a local artist and it's pewter and I'm sensitive to um, metals but this one it, it, pewter is hypoallergenic I th think um, so I've not had a reaction to it yet anyway so I thought I'd wear that today and I'm wearing it with my Sabina skirt and my Converse and I'll just turn you around to show you so here is a full outfit my Sabina skirt in red leopard print and my Converse trainers and then um, my Beast t-shirt. I just tucked it in but then bagged it out a little bit. That's how I've worn it today. Oh, and I'm going to put on my um, denim jacket. So I'll just show you with the denim jacket on. So here you go. Here it is with my denim jacket. This is really oversized. It's from Gap. I might have considered wearing sandals but again, I'm going to be driving so I wanted to wear something I could actually drive in. Now I'll just turn you back around just to finish this little vlog. And my vlog has just gone out this morning, um, my saltwater slip dress. And I'm always really nervous about <laughs> publishing my vlogs. And um, But I do get some lovely comments from lots of, of my um, viewers. So um, thank you so much for leaving those comments. It's nice when you're feeling all apprehensive and people like and comment on your vlog. It just means so much to me. So thank you, everybody who's done that. On any of my vlogs, um, yeah, I always appreciate the comments. So um, I'll catch you up again soon. Bye. Hi, so today is Saturday. It's the day of my brother-in-law's wedding and we're here at a lovely um, hotel it's set in some lovely grounds it's really really nice and we've just had the ceremony and um, I think you call it the wedding breakfast or the food anyway <laughs> um, yeah, we've just had the food. That was absolutely delicious, actually. Very nice. Um, and it's just a break before the evening do. So I thought I'd nip on. Um, we've got um, a room in the hotel so we can stay here tonight. Um, and then we're going back to our um, <laughs> quirky little house um, that we're staying in. But yeah, tonight um, we're staying in the hotel room here. And I'll actually I'll show you the view from um, the window in our hotel. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I'll show you my outfit. So here we go. And it's a lovely day today. It was raining a little bit earlier. And it's been a little bit windy, but now the sun's come out. It's lovely. So I've got the same hat on. And um, I decided to wear this necklace, the one that I got um, in Ireland, and my white blazer. Now, I really like this blazer, um, but the sleeves on it are a little bit short. So if I'd made my own, I could have made myself one with um, nice long sleeves. So, and here's my dress. 
um, and it's got a tear on the bottom. Now this is the Hinterland dress by So Liberated, which I hack slightly. I'll take off my jacket to show you the sleeves. And um, I'm wearing the same strappy white shoes with um, a wooden platform sole. And they're actually very comfortable and I can't really do heels, so. Um, but these are fine on me. So I'll just take my jacket off now to show you. So here's my dress. So here are the sleeves. They just bel fall below my elbow and they're slightly puffed um, and gathered into an elasticated cuff. I've got the waist tie tied on um, it goes um, around my back and then ties at the front. Now the only thing I would change about this dress is the waistline on the back is a little bit low so it comes to around here so I really have to move it around to get the waist, the tie sitting on the waistline all the way around the dress. So next time I think I probably need just a little bit um, of a sway back adjustment on it. I'm happy with my dress but I do prefer the outfit with the jacket um, for sure. So it's a good job that the day is not actually <laughs> too hot <laughs> for me to um, wear the jacket. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my outfit and I'll um, catch up with you tomorrow. Today it's Sunday the 26th of June. We've just come back from um, a meal we had in Lisbon with everybody who has come over for the wedding and then we all had to say our goodbyes because we're not going to see them again now. So I took, um, we went for a drink before we went out for the meal and I got a couple of snaps in my outfit and I'm just going to turn you around now and show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this black dress um, that is a ready to wear dress and I got it um, about 11, maybe 12 years ago. It's from Monsoon and it's a really nice dress. I really enjoy wearing it. Now I've just got an Agnes top underneath, a white Agnes top laid underneath it. And I've got this belt from, which was from Zara. It's like elasticated at the back, but then like sparkly at the front. And the dress is like mid thigh and I'm um, just wearing some tights with it and my patent Doc Martin boots and I had like a fluffy cardigan over it and that's my outfit. Now what I really like about this dress, I don't know if you can see it, I might just actually just turn the camera around. Oh there you can see, it's got these lovely like pin tuck detail on it and yeah round here and then some gathering here and I'd really like to recreate this kind of dress and then along the bottom of the dress you can see it's also got some tucks and it's got like a um, sewn on trim so that just adds a little bit of detail to what would be just um, a plain black dress and it's made from cotton and then it's got a lining on it, which is um, an acetate lining. And I thought actually I would go and buy some acetate lining because I really like the way it feels. Um, it's a really light but slippery fabric. And I thought if I'm gonna line dresses, especially cotton so they don't stick to your tights, Acetate lining is would be really nice to use. Um, yeah, so this dress has actually inspired me to try and make a couple more black dresses to wear when going out. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my outfit and I'll try and catch up with you again tomorrow. Actually, before I go, I know this is <laughs> turning out to be a little bit of a fashion parade, which I suppose it is, but I did actually wear a different 
outfit to go um, down for breakfast this morning and I wore another Agnes top and I wore a denim skirt and the same fluffy cardigan so I'll just put an image of how I looked then this morning okay right well I'll definitely see you tomorrow okay bye today is Monday the 27th of June so it's our last day of our holiday in Ireland and we've had a lovely day today we went for um, a walk um, around Hillsborough where we're staying um, into the forest and it was a really nice pretty walk we got a little bit lost but it was nice to get a little bit lost and to see some of the edges of the forest and then you could see out um, with the cows on the fields and um, there were a couple of good climbing trees and I couldn't help it but have a little bit of a climb. I didn't go up too far. Um, my husband was pretty nervous about me climbing trees and um, my footwear probably wasn't the best. So yeah, I played it safe but it was good to relive a bit of my childhood and to climb a couple of trees. So that was exciting. And now we're going to go for dinner. We're going to a pub called The Parson's Nose, which we actually ate at um, a couple of nights ago. And my husband really enjoyed the food there. So did I. That's where I had the hake, actually. Um, so I'll try something different tonight. And we're actually going to try and do the quiz tonight. At the Hillside Pub, they advertise their quiz at 8.30 um, on a Monday. So me and my husband are just going to have a go at the quiz. We're not big quizzers, so <laughs> even if we come last, it's just a bit of fun. I'm just going to share what I'm wearing today. This is the Tyra t-shirt by Just Patterns. And I'll just spin you around so you can see my outfit. And I've made this in a cotton lycra jersey so um i think it was 95 percent cotton and five percent elastane it's quite um a thick cotton and i used the self fabric for the neckband and top stitched it down with a zigzag stitch as you can see this t-shirt is quite oversized and i'm wearing this um belt again um this is my all saints belt and I'm wearing um, a denim skirt, which is um, ready to wear. So, um, and these thick black tights and my paint and Doc Martin boots. And I've never worn this outfit before, so quite like it actually. I'm doing like a little bit of a French talk. So yeah, that's my outfit for tonight. And I'm pretty pleased with the outfits that I've worn over the last few days. The one I'm like not so sure worked as well was the one where I wore my Sabina skirt and my black t-shirt. Not quite, looking back on the photos, I'm not sure that quite worked how I wanted it to. But I love that skirt and I'm pleased that I'm kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Normally I would just wear jeans on, on a day like that. But... I'm actually enjoying trying to push myself to wear a few more skirts and dresses and that kind of thing. And the outfit that I was most pleased with, looking back at the photos, uh, is the one that I wore where I wore my black peppermint wide leg pants and my linen white shirt. I think that I really liked that outfit. I really enjoyed wearing the peppermint wide leg pants that I'd made. And a lot of you commented and said lovely things about how they looked and the fit on me. Um, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled with them. The only issue is, is that the zip keeps popping out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the things that I've been up to on my little holiday. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my outfits. I've got quite a lot of thoughts about some things that I want to make and the dress that I wore for the wedding. I've got a few ideas about what to do with that. I want to kind of do a few adjustments to it to kind of make it a little bit more 
wearable and to sort out the issue with the back dropping so I'm yeah I'm going to try and sort that out if you've made it this far well done <laughs> I'll see you again next time bye